Ever wondered how antidepressants manage to lift someone's mood? Stick around as we unravel this intriguing process. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Engaging with our content helps us reach more people and continue delivering great information. Today, we will explore how antidepressants work in the brain. We'll look at different types of antidepressants and their mechanisms. Each type plays a unique role in managing symptoms of depression. Understanding antidepressants is crucial for anyone interested in mental health treatment. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of why these medications are prescribed and how they contribute to mental health recovery. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how these powerful drugs function. Antidepressants are primarily used to treat depression, anxiety disorders, and certain chronic pain conditions. They do not cure these conditions, but help manage the symptoms. The human brain is a complex network of neurons that communicate via chemicals called neurotransmitters. These chemicals include serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine, which influence mood, emotion, and pain. Depression is often linked with imbalances in these neurotransmitters. Antidepressants work by altering the levels of these neurotransmitters in the brain. This alteration helps restore the balance and improves the communication between the brain cells. Let's break down the process for various types of antidepressants. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSR, RSSR, are the most commonly prescribed antidepressants. They work by blocking the reuptake of serotonin in the brain. This action increases the amount of serotonin available to improve transmission of messages between neurons. Serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, similarly increase the levels of both serotonin and norepinephrine. This dual action makes SNR is effective in treating severe forms of depression and other mental health conditions. Another class is tricyclic antidepressants, or TCAs. These work by blocking the reuptake of both norepinephrine and serotonin, much like SNR is. However, TCAs also block other receptors in the brain, which can lead to more side effects. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAO is, are another group of antidepressants. They inhibit the action of monoamine oxidase, an enzyme that breaks down neurotransmitters in the brain. By inhibiting this enzyme, MAO is increased the levels of neurotransmitters. Each type of antidepressant targets different pathways in the brain, which is why they can have varying effects and side effects. Doctors choose an antidepressant based on the patient's specific symptoms, history, and response to previous treatments. It's important to remember that the effectiveness of antidepressants can vary from person to person. Some people might feel better in a few weeks, while others might need to try different medications to find the one that works best for them. Antidepressants are often used in conjunction with therapy and lifestyle changes for the best outcomes. It is crucial for patients to have open communication with their health care providers about how the medication is affecting them. The journey with antidepressants is not the same for everyone. Adjusting dosages or switching medications might be necessary to achieve the best results. Patients and regular consultation with healthcare providers are key during this process. While antidepressants are effective for many, they are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Research continues to evolve, aiming to develop better and more targeted medications with fewer side effects. Understanding how antidepressants work helps in demystifying the treatment of depression and related conditions. It highlights the importance of a tailored approach in mental health treatment, respecting individual differences in symptoms and responses to medications. Exploring the advantages and disadvantages of antidepressants will help you make informed decisions about their use in managing depression and anxiety disorders. Let's look at some key points. 
One major advantage of antidepressants is their ability to improve symptoms of depression and anxiety. For many individuals, these medications can lead to significant improvements in mood and functionality, allowing them to resume normal daily activities. However, antidepressants are not effective for everyone. Some people may not experience any relief from their symptoms, while others might only see partial improvement. This variability can be challenging and may require trying different medications to find the right fit. Another advantage is the range of options available. With several classes of antidepressants, such as SSRIs, SNR, is EECAs, and MAOs, doctors can tailor treatment to the specific needs and medical history of the patient, potentially increasing the effectiveness of the treatment. On the downside, antidepressants can cause side effects, which vary depending on the type of medication. Common side effects include nausea, weight gain, sexual dysfunction, and sleep disturbances. These can affect a person's quality of life and may discourage adherence to the medication regime. Antidepressants can also take time to work, typically several weeks, and sometimes longer to achieve full effect. This delay can be frustrating for individuals seeking immediate relief from depression or anxiety. A significant advantage of antidepressants is their potential to prevent the recurrence of depression. For those who have experienced multiple episodes of depression, long-term treatment can be crucial in managing the condition effectively. However, there can be dependence and withdrawal issues with some antidepressants, especially if they are discontinued abruptly. Patients need to consult their health care provider before stopping or changing their dosage to avoid withdrawal symptoms. Understanding both the advantages and disadvantages of antidepressants allows patients and health care providers to weigh the benefits against the risks. This informed approach can lead to better management of mental health conditions. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how antidepressants work. Sarah, a 34-year-old woman from Manchester, had been struggling with severe depression and anxiety for several years. After several attempts at different therapies, her GP suggested trying an SSRI. Sarah was hesitant at first due to concerns about side effects, but decided to proceed based on her doctor's advice. Within a few weeks of starting the medication, Sarah noticed a gradual improvement in her mood and energy levels. It wasn't an instant change, but over time, and with regular follow-ups with her GP, the right dosage was determined. This helped Sarah manage her symptoms effectively. She also continued therapy sessions, which complemented the medication, helping her to deal with underlying issues and develop coping strategies. If you are considering antidepressants, here are a couple of steps you might follow. First, speak openly with your health care provider about your symptoms, concerns, and any side effects you're worried about. It's important to have a clear understanding of what the medication might do and how it fits into your overall treatment plan. Second, give the medication time to work. It can be frustrating to wait, but it often takes several weeks to feel the full effects. During this period, keep a diary of your mood and any side effects and share this with your doctor. This information can be crucial for adjusting your treatment plan for the best results. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support and it helps us bring more helpful content to you.